The marijuana legalization vote will take place on November 4th, and so far there is no indication on how the people will vote. Although the debate over controversial nicknames is now in the public eye, for those at St. Bonaventure, the conversation is old news. Construction on the solar panels will begin in July and will take up about 24 acres of the land you see behind me on Buffalo Street in Olean, adjacent to the Dresseran building. But it also left us wondering, when the cameras are off and the moment is passed, what happens next? Following his late game heroics against Davidson in 18th ranked VCU, Posley was named National Player of the Week by four different outlets. There will also be an eight foot wide median to create a safe zone for crossing pedestrians. It wasn't lack of sleep or chicken wing induced food comas from the big game that delayed students earlier this week. This November, I too will raise awareness for men's health by participating in Movember. For SBU TV, I'm Mike Arena. Fabio often finds refuge under this bush in front of this home on South 7th Street. All of this is just one reason that the SBU community finds her to be one promising woman. St. Bonaventure University is partnering with BQ Energy of Poughkeepsie to build solar panels in Olean. The panels are projected to save the university an estimated $100,000 annually in electric bills. Uh, for them, we're able to provide them with uh, probably the best carbon-free electricity deal that, uh, that you can find. We're able to give them electricity, carbon-free, at uh, below market rates. The power generated by the solar uh, uh, array, uh, the value of that power is deducted from the university's bills. Construction on the solar panels will begin in July and will take up about 24 acres of the land you see behind me on Buffalo Street in Olean, adjacent to the Dresseran building. BQ officials believe the project will take about three months to complete. Along with saving the university money, the solar panels will reduce the school and the region's carbon footprint. This project generates about 60% of St. Bonaventure's electricity consumption, and it's all carbon-free. We would uh, replace or, or eliminate 1,400 tons of CO2 from uh, the electricity that they would normally buy off the grid. So I asked, what does that mean in terms of helping the environment? That's roughly equivalent to about 285 cars being removed from the road. For SBU TV, I'm Mike Arena. Most basketball players would tell you they dream of hitting the winning shot at the end of a big game. Well, last week that dream became reality for junior guard Marcus Posley, not once. Trying to get all the way to the rim. Here he is, Posley! At the buzzer! Good! But twice. Posley, their leading scorer, he hit the game winner Wednesday night at Davidson to win by one. <laughs> Does it again! Does it again! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Wow! That's a great feeling. I mean, that's something you dream about as a kid growing up. And, and to be in that position right now in my life, I'm truly blessed. With a win over 18th ranked VCU, the Bonnies recorded their third win over nationally ranked opponents in the past two seasons. For that to happen to put us on the map and for everybody to really notice, you know, that we have something special really going on here, that's, that's the big thing. Following his late game heroics against Davidson and 18th ranked VCU, Posley was named National Player of the Week by four different outlets, but he credits any accolades he receives to his team. You know, when, when one of us shine, we all shine, so, you know, Yusuf's had his day in the sun, we've all had our day in the sun, but it, it's great because it's a team thing. For SBU TV, I'm Mike Arena. On Tuesday, September 16th, the city of Olean broke ground on the $8.85 million walkable Olean project on North Union Street. The project will replace the traffic lights on the street with five roundabouts that Mayor William Alio believes will improve the flow of traffic. It'll be slow and steady instead of, you know how you, uh, some people will drive real fast and get stopped by the next red light and sit there, then drive real fast and sit there at the next one. This way here, traffic will move in a nice, slow, uh, methodical pattern through the street. Along with replacing the traffic lights, the project will reduce the number of driving lanes from four to two, creating six foot wide bike lanes. There will also be an eight foot wide median to create a safe zone for crossing pedestrians. Now, when you're crossing, your head's pretty much on a swivel. You gotta go back and forth. This way here, when you're crossing, you'll be looking this way, you get to that safe zone, and all you have to do is look back this way. You don't have to worry about traffic coming in two directions. The mayor believes that these renovations will be beneficial to Olean's business district. 
We also want to uh, make our street more attractive to, to draw in uh, more businesses, people who want to, to uh, open up shop here and create a, a nice atmosphere of a friendly, viable city. For SBU TV, I'm Mike Arena. It's our time to have wage equality once and for all and equal rights for women in the United States of America. Patricia Arquette wasn't the first to call for social change during an award acceptance. You may recall Michael Moore's criticism of the Iraq War in 2003, or in 1972 when Marlon Brando sent Sasheen Littlefeather to accept his award and speak out against the treatment of Native Americans in the film industry. But are these speeches effective? With a viewership of 36.6 million people, Arquette's call to action was definitely heard, but it also left us wondering, when the cameras are off, and the moment is past, what happens next? So I went around asking if a celebrity speech could spark social or political change in America. I mean, when you have a celebrity, there's a pretty large fan base behind that. And if people see that that celebrity is standing behind something, they're going to say, oh, I want to be behind that too. The people that, that can make the change don't care enough to make the change because whether it's inconvenient or it hurts them, and the people that are making the problems exist aren't going to change it just because some celebrity made a speech about it. It can bring people together and get people talking. When someone like that does speak out against it, you really realize how um, big of an issue it is and it comes to light. And it, it definitely adds fuel to the fire. For SBU-TV, I'm Mike Arena.